Hi you guys out there on YouTube land, Chibi here, and I'm going to try doing a Deca Doll 70cm body review again. YouTube ate my last one, I don't know why. <laughs> but here is, uh, look, here's Big Ash, he is a Deca Doll Zura, sorry I just put his wig back on from the last review, and he is the 70cm three part torso joint. And I haven't had him for a whole lot of time, but I've had enough time to get used to his body and the way he poses. Overall, I do pretty much like him, but it takes a lot for me to not like it all, so I'm not very picky. And you can see his general aesthetics are very masculine, which I really love. Like, he's got the Adam's apple that make him different. He's got a nice little torso going on here. His general aesthetics are very nice. The only thing I kind of... And he's got very large, like, shoulders. But he's very thin. Which is fine, because he's about the same as my other dude. But, I will be starting from the bottom and working my way up. So, first starting at the feet. His feet are a little bit funky. Not his actual feet, but his feet joint. His feet look gorgeous. Like, the actual look of them are gorgeous. Let's see. There we go. It's got a very nice look to his foot. But as you can see right here, his joint is kind of funny, if you ask me. Kind of. There we go. Kind of just lays funny and sticks out a lot. He can go forward about that much. And then go back, but that's all he can do. He cannot do side to side at all and stay because of the way that his jointing system is done down here. And there's no extra piece, it's just foot on leg. And then for the knees, they are double jointed. Ow. I can pinch the crap out of myself. Yeah. And they, <laughs> as you can see, stay very well but that's as far as he goes any further than that and he's going to be well he's already pulling out of his joints when you do that but it doesn't look too bad when he's in pants he also has the thigh joints here which give him the ability to turn his leg and also um they they are not completely, like, when you turn them, as you can see, they come out of their thing. So you don't have a lot of that problem where the leg's turning backwards and stuff like that. Like I have with my doll zones, because I love the thigh joint, but sometimes their legs get turned around and I'm like, I don't know what I did wrong. You can't really do that with him. And then, sorry, penis, but just how it works. We have his thigh joint. Which is just kind of flesh. There. Just kind of your average thigh joint, except his hand wants to be in the way. And it does have this little lip right here. But for me, that lip doesn't do a whole lot. It doesn't stop me from moving him. <laughs> it doesn't even really lock him. It might help him stand, because he stands pretty well. He does have, like very but and when he sits there's like gaps here oh come on too many jumps there we go boy and here's what his back looks like he's got a pretty well defined back and blue tusks yeah yay very firm buttocks and as I said before, he is the old style three uh, three part torso, not the new five. And I just didn't like the aesthetics of the five. The, the five gives you a lot more scrap. Like, I could see why someone might want one when it comes to the, these guys. Because he doesn't have a whole lot of slouching. That's about as far as he slouches with three. And then going backwards... Naturally, I mean, you can push them further, of course, but 
naturally that's as far as he'll really stay. And that's how far he goes back. Which for me is enough. And inside the three part system there is a locking mechanism. Which is there's a little things right there and then the little crevices to go in. And there is also one in the second part. But it's much harder to show you. And the aesthetics of his chest are pretty well defined. And then we have his arm. Um, his arms are not as tightly strong as I think would be best for his style of jointing. But with his shirt on, which adds some friction to holding his arm up, he has no real problems. But he does pretty well. And the reason is, is he's got this extra little joint here. Extra little piece of resin. And on the inside, there are these little grooves. And then there's nothing on this one. But on the outside of this one, there's these little outer grooves that go in these inner grooves and help him pose. And if he were strung a little bit tighter, he'd probably hold just about any pose you really wanted him to. But he does pretty well as the way he came out of his box. I have no intentions of restringing him because it's just... He poses way too good for me to actually go through the process of restringing him. Because the stringing, as I think someone else pointed out here on YouTube is like you have to get him through these because he's chunky resin there's just he's one solid piece of resin with little holes and you gotta go through there let's see I'll show you the bottom piece okay come on dude of course your hand gets in the way yeah you can see right there where there's like two and it's solid and chunky and it's that way through this piece too so restringing him will be a hard thing to do but fortunately, he's strong well enough for me to last until his elastic gives out on me. Okay, and on through the rest of the arm. Sorry, for the detour. We have a double jointed arm. Which he does really well. He can touch his face. Like, ah. Oh. There. <laughs> I can touch my face. <laughs> and it's just I'm trying to stay without the thing lighting up solid peanut and it does have some lips on the um, peanut like in the thigh joint but they have a little bit of effect but not very much this does really well and then we have his wrist joint which I'm not very fond of because it's got the lip going on there and that kind of annoys me but hasn't really impeded his movement he can go up down. So, he's got a pretty well movement. He does have pretty veiny hands, which are hard to show. There, I think you can do it. These veiny hands. And detailed fingernails. Digital has very good detailing, in my opinion, for the hands and feet and body. But that is his body. I overall very much happy with his body. It's a lot more solid than some other brands that I've gotten a hold of, especially in like the very large sizes. Even though that does make him heavy, it makes me feel less like I'm gonna break him. Just like he'll break me and just hit someone over the head with him. I'm pretty sure he'll knock him out. <laughs> but on to the head. He is the Zora. And he has the default face up, not the default eyes. They're, they come with very awkward acrylic eyes. Um, I got eyes in both this head and my other head, and they're very weird acrylics. Like, I'm normally have no problem with acrylics, but I don't really like what he came with. They're very odd. So he has some um, mint on card eyes in there. But he's got a very light lipping and stuff. I want something a bit more masculine. Now, there's two different head cap systems, and the other one, 
I think it's a lip up here. I haven't touched the head in, since my last video when I was talking about it. But it's like a lip system and then two magnets. Not the same. This is an older style head. So it twist and do it off. And you have the little pieces there. And then the inside of his head is about normal. Um. Oh yeah, he does have the little notch system that keeps the S hook from turning, which is really nice. His is really good and also really hard. But either way, and it's easy. I like the way this head's done because the S hook comes straight up and you don't have a lot of stuff in your way when you're trying to get to him. So it's very, I think, very well done. And I'm trying to put his head cap on upside down. Let me try that one more time. And pretty easy to get on and off. And it latches pretty well. Because I've had one that has a latch system like that. And the head does not stay latched very well. Which was kind of upsetting. But Oh, which is the um, little boy I have for sale. But overall, I'm very happy with my Deca doll. Um, I'm very... I do very much like their um, quality. He does have like some like rough spots here and stuff like that. Uh, but he doesn't have any seam lines that I have found at all, which is really nice. So, no, I like him. Sorry, I pulled it in my house. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment below or a message if you don't feel comfortable commenting, and I'll um, answer any questions about the Giga Dolls um, body size, um, anything about the Giga Doll body you want, or if you ask for like a specific uh, pose and stuff. I do have a, I don't know if I ever I mentioned this. I'm pretty sure I did. I got a camera again so I can actually do that. And so don't feel um <laughs> don't feel scared to ask questions and if you have any um requests video wise for any of my dolls or anything like that just um, leave me a comment or a message and I'll get back to you because I'm running out of ideas other than going back to the prompts which I've kind of got nothing but kind of prompts I'm not very interested in doing left, so <laughs> I'm trying to think of good ideas for videos. So. I'm probably going to start going through all of my dolls that I haven't done like a very good review for or just haven't done a review for at all and do reviews for them, so. Bye!